Hi everyone, it's Mike here. So don't forget to click that subscribe and bell icon to receive a notification each time I upload a new video. It's Monday morning, the 11th of March, and it's just gone 10 a.m. And I've just been sorting out my website orders and stuff for the week, and I've discovered that the bags that I've bought for the stencils. Normally when I sell my stencils, I send them out in um, cello bags that I've got headers on them. Um, but because I'm not selling to shops or anything, there's no real need for me to use header bags. So I purchased some cello bags without heads. Um, and they're smaller in size. My stencil inserts don't actually fit. They're too big. So I've got, to, I've got to have all my stencil inserts re-trimmed back down again. And we're only talking like two millimetres, a millimetre at either side, which is really, really um, frustrating. So I think what I'm going to have to do to get them to fit is I'm going to have to fold them all first um, and then put them through my trimmer, my stamping up trimmer, and just literally take off a couple of millimetres but rather than sit and do all of my stencil inserts in one go I've got a big packet full of them here but um, rather than do them all in one go of which there are a hundred because I buy them in batches of a hundred um, is just do them as and when I need them which is a really really frustrating thing so I'm going to have to try and find some headerless bags that are the right size now so the rest of the morning, I think, is going to be taken up with internet research. It's a thoroughly, thoroughly interesting morning. So it's now just before lunch on Monday, and I've spent the last hour trawling through Amazon, trawling through eBay, and trying to think of as many different places that I can that may sell these cello bags um, that aren't kind of retail prices because I need to buy them at wholesale prices because I'll be buying in bulk um, and I found one now it's actually from a very old supplier when we had the shop years ago we used to buy products from a company called Sticks2 uh, and I went back to their website and had a look and sure enough I can get them in um, packs of a thousand which is just perfect and they're not much money so because obviously when you're selling a product like a stencil you've got to take into consideration the cost of the insert sheet that you have to have printed and guillotined down and also you've got to take into consideration the cost of the bag as well even before you're actually selling the stencil because it's all I know people throw the bag away and throw the stencil insert away and only keep the stencil but they've still got to be paid for so I've got to try and get the best um, value bag that I can uh, and if that means buying in bulk then that's what I've got to do so yes I've just ordered a thousand should keep me going for a while I made that bed this morning never mind flicking your ears at me what have you been doing eh have you been nesting and sitting in the sunshine eh and playing by the looks of things that's a tennis ball isn't it Never mind trying to get round me, creeping, mush. What you like, eh? So there's no point making beds when you're around, is there? That door's squeaking. Okay, there's no point making beds when you're around, is there? Because you just don't make them again, don't you? Don't you look at you? Just look at you. With the boot of a baby boy. Who's the boot of a baby boy? Yes, you are. It's a hard life. It's a hard life, isn't it, Mr. Bentley Booze? Eh? It's a hard life. It's a Wednesday morning. Well, Wednesday morning, I say. It's actually just gone 12 o'clock, so it's actually Wednesday afternoon now. Um, I've spent all morning doing a complete inventory and um, stock take of all the bits and pieces on my website. So all the stencils that have been out of stock or just gone out of stock. Um, and also all of the MDF uh, or the Medite laser cuts which haven't been in stock for ages and I've just put together a big big 
order of everything um, and I've just sent that order off to have it cut so hopefully in the next week or so all those items that have been out of stock for a while will all be in I don't think there'll be a single stencil that I won't have in um, or most of the MDF um, laser cuts will be back in stock again I'm not restocking some of them because they didn't sell well or they didn't work brilliantly they're a bit too flimsy so I might, I'm going to remove those from the website and just have the ones in which I know work really really well so hopefully fingers crossed there's also two new sets of MDF shapes um, that I've done that I'm having prototyped as well so hopefully they will also be going on the website when they come in because I like them there's some nice shapes to work with for mixed media canvases and other kind of mixed media projects as well kind of versatile for what they are but more on that later one of the things I really dislike about modern grocery shopping and supermarkets are these self scan checkouts now apart from the fact that they're stealing jobs from real human people um, which I don't approve of not really a Luddite I do embrace technology but there is you know there's a limit when it starts taking human jobs and human earning potential away not good not good at all but one of the reasons why I really dislike um, the self-scan checkouts is they're never programmed correctly the one I've just used is cash, uh, sorry, it's card only. You can't use cash. But it still asks you to select the payment type. I mean, if it's card only, why bother asking? You can only pay by card. It's ridiculous. And they never scan properly. It always gets confused. Always the red assistant light starts flashing. Even when you're buying one item, they're never ever programmed properly. They're just a complete waste of space. Wherever possible, I don't use them at all, ever. I always prefer to go to a real human being. It's now, what, 3.42? And it's Wednesday, obviously, later than the previous bit. Uh, and I'm on my way to see Mum and Dad. So back to normal kind of Wednesday visit for the time being. Um, had a little bit of bad news about the house move yesterday, but I'm not going to go into detail. Um, slightly delayed now. So it looks as though the house move won't be happening until sometime in April. But um, just, a, just a little delay. But we're a bit disappointed, obviously, but it just means that we still have to push on and carry on with life as normal. Hence, coming through to see Mum. So I'll be staying over again tonight and then back, um, back through to Leeds again in the morning, as per usual. God, it's windy out there today and wet, not good. It's, I'm a little bit later this morning, leaving mum and dad's. It's almost eight o'clock, so I've got a quarter of an hour behind schedule. So it's just trying to pull off the driveway. Oh, I just wave to mum and dad. <laughs> both stood at the window waving seeing me off so yes it's cold it's wet and it's windy today not nice at all I was kept awake half the night 
because the room that I sleep in at mum and dad's is a corner at the back and the wind whistles and rattles round the side of the house and it's noisy <laughs> so I didn't sleep very well last night <laughs> so I have to also have to be careful of tree branches and debris in the road so I need to have my wits about me this morning So it's Friday, 15th of March, and it's ooh, 20 to 4 in the afternoon. And we've had a very busy day today. So this morning, um, we had a, a visit from a client. So we had a work meeting right the way through until uh, around about half past one. And then when the work client left, um, we had a viewing on the house. Yes, we're back to doing that again. Um, I'll explain in a future time. And um, so after they'd gone, um, I then got down and started working again, um, producing some videos that I can keep on stock, if you like, on store for the period when we finally do move so that I don't have to worry about getting my computer and camera set up straight away. So I've got like a stock back catalogue if you like of videos, generic videos um, that I can have and show um, in that period. So today, uh, seeing as I've not made a mixed media um, art tag in quite some time, I thought I would create one of those and try and utilise what I've learnt with the crackle glaze or that crackle paste and see if I could introduce some crackle to it as well. And that's what I've created. So there is a full process video for this that will be coming during the period that um, we're moving, <laughs> whenever that happens to be. So as you can see, I've got some really nice crackle effects around the outside. And also there was an issue with the crackle actually on the photograph of Queen Victoria there, which I resolved. So that was a nice kind of learning experience on what to do when that kind of thing happens and what the crackle glaze does and doesn't work with in that instance. So that was a bit of a surprise but I'll show you what happens and what I do to remedy it. So that's very interesting indeed. Enjoyed doing that and it's quite a nice effect as well. So that's what I've done so far. Like I said, it's now 20 to four. Um, Mr. Bentley has been out for a WLK already um, and he's just enjoying the sunshine on my bed, trying to get back in it again. Cause that's what dogs do, get comfy. So for the rest of the afternoon, since it's Friday, I have a new episode of Star Trek Discovery to watch. So I'm going to knock off early and go and sit and watch that with my feet up, with a cup of coffee. And then, and when that's finished, and only when that's finished, am I going to think about what we're going to be having for dinner tonight? Quickly. Come on. This way. I think you'd know the route by now. It's 8.30 on Saturday, 16th of March. That's 8.30 in the morning. Um, today's a funny day. We've got, both of us, Ian and I, have both got life stuff to attend to. I'm sure you understand what life stuff is. It's that kind of stuff which isn't really appropriate to have a camera playing, not really record. Um, we have to, Go to, or you can't take a camera in, obviously. Um, so we're going to be out most of the day today. It's nothing serious, it's just stuff that we've got to do, we've got to attend to, um, things that we've kind of been putting off doing. Um, we've got a fair bit of driving to do today. We've also got to pop in and see mum and dad today um, just to pick up a parcel that's arrived for Ian uh, for his work. Um, we've had stuff delivered to mum and dad's because we had no idea if or when we were going to be moving. As it turns out, we're not going to be moving anytime soon. But 
like I said before, more on that later. Um, so today, uh, while Ian's getting ready, I said I would take Mr Bentley out for his WALK um, so that he didn't have to worry about that this morning. He's got other things that he needs to worry about. So that's what we're doing. Day's a lot nicer than it has been the last couple of days. We've actually got blue skies. Not that many clouds, but big patches of blue sky, which makes a change. But it's still blooming cold, very cold. So we've got to finish our walk and then we're going to be setting off in about half an hour or so off on our journeys for the day. So I probably will get a chance to say hello again for the rest of the day because by the time we get back, we'll both be absolutely, as we say here, knackered. So I will catch you tomorrow. Good morning, it's Sunday the 17th of March, just gone 9am and I've just realised I look like a vicar with this black t-shirt with a white one underneath it. Appropriate for Sunday I suppose. Um, yes, so we got back from our um, errands and stuff uh, that we had to do yesterday and we didn't get back until about 8 o'clock last night. So when we got back we were both very tired, very hungry, uh, a bit cranky. And all we wanted to do was just have something to eat and sit down, um, get showered and settle down for the night. Um, Ian has a one day steampunk event today um, over in East Yorkshire. Well, I suppose actually it's North Lincolnshire because it's the other side of the Humber Bridge, if you know Britain at all, in a place called Barton upon Humber. Um, so it's a one day. So he set off this morning at, um, I think it was around about half past seven so we both got up at quarter to seven this morning um i haven't been back to bed yet but i have taken mr bentley out already for his walk um mainly i haven't filmed it because you saw me walking him yesterday so um but while we we're out yesterday i had a couple of um things in the post arrive um the first one was um, a letter from my local health center now i may have mentioned a while ago that i went for a what we call an MOT. Um, it's basically, it's just a, when you get to a certain age, um, our local health authority contacts you and says, right, you need to come in. We need to do a physical check your um, body mass index, your cholesterol, your blood pressure, your um, risk for diabetes, um, that kind of stuff. So they get you to go in and they run some tests and then they say, um, okay, you go now. We'll process all the all your blood samples and, and all that kind of stuff. And, and we will only get in touch with you if there is something of concern. Now, normally they would get in touch with you if there is something of concern within, um, within seven days. This was about three or four weeks ago. I never heard anything at all from them. And then yesterday in the post, I get this letter, <laughs> which makes me laugh. And it, and it says, your results. Um, so it goes through um, the various different things that they tested for. So the first one was blood pressure. It said a blood pressure less than 140 over 90 is ideal and blood pressure more than 140 over 90 is high. Your blood pressure is 120 over 75. So I'm ideal. So blood pressure is fine. Body mass index test. I'll skip through that one and just say a BMI between 25 and 29.9 is in the overweight range. Mine is 27.5. So I'm over by about two points. All right, not a huge amount, but enough. So I'm fat, officially. <laughs> Cholesterol, it says a total cholesterol or cholesterol ratio less than five is ideal and a total cholesterol or cholesterol ratio more than five is high. 
your cholesterol undetectable non-recorded so there you go so that's that so no problems with cholesterol no problems with blood pressure but i'm fat um what else have we got oh ah, yes my um physical activity index inactive i don't do enough physical exercise and then it says cardio cardiovascular disease risk score a cvd cardiovascular disease um, risk score less than 10 percent is low risk your cvd risk score is 6.5 so I am low risk of heart disease. And finally, diabetes. It says an HbA1c less than 42 is ideal. And apparently my HbA1c is 36. So well under that 42. So I am in the ideal range or not at risk for diabetes. So there you go. So apart from being overweight, I'm pretty good, thanks. <laughs> um, the other thing that arrived in the post. Now, um, these I've been trying to find and I've been looking for for absolutely years. Um, they're a couple of years old. I think what's the date on this now? Is there a date on it? Probably isn't a date on it, so I probably can't even tell you when it was first released. But I first saw or caught sight of this um, in 2015. So that goes to show you how long I've been kind of looking at these, I think. Um, and these are, it's a Blu-ray DVD. Um, I'll show you. This is a box set of disc one and disc two. Um, so I'll release one and release two. So there are two on here. The first disc is called Art Journaling, right from a blank page. And disc two is called Art Journaling, there are no mistakes in art. And these are from um, a lady called Kate Crane. Now, Kate Crane, um, I've met once or twice, I think. Um, once at a workshop at Indigo Blue uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, and another time, I think I met um, while she was at Art From The Heart doing a workshop. She does workshops at Art From The Heart. Now, these DVDs were published through a magazine called Craft Stamper. Um, and there are six that Kate did for them. Um, and I've been trying to get hold of them for absolutely, absolutely ages. I do like Kate's style, um, and I like to, I like to have a kind of library of reference material and stuff that I can get inspiration from. So I've got practically all the books there are um, that are about or give inspiration for art journaling and mixed media, including like the two Dina Wakely ones. I've also got the Tim Holtz alterations books and all that kind of stuff, but I've also got quite a decent collection. Um, because there were six of these and I like Kate's style, I've been trying to get hold of these. And I just happened um, to be looking for more art journaling or mixed media books on eBay to see whether there'd been any release that I didn't know about that I could add to my collection, my library um, of art journaling and mixed media resources um, when I spotted these on eBay. So, um, and they weren't that expensive. It's like I said, it's a double, um, double DVD. So there's two discs uh, and the Blu-ray as well, which means that they're high def. Um, and they were less than 15 pounds. And it was free postage. So I thought, well, okay, these are obviously um, been released a while ago, but it's something I've been wanting to get. And obviously there's disc one and disc two in there. Um, and there are six, like I said. Um, so if you look at it at about £7.50, um, about $10-ish per disc, it's actually not bad. Um, so I ordered them and bought them. And I've also, um, now I know what they're coming under on eBay, um, I've also um, done a search and found the rest of them. And they're all around about the same price, between £13 and £15. Uh, and I found the other two box sets that go, so, so disc um, three and four and five and six. So I'm going to watch these today. This is one of my things that I'm going to be doing today because I'm not doing that much today. Um, I've got laundry 
to do, which is in already. So you might be able to hear the washing machine noise in the background. Um, like I said, I've already walked Mr. Mr. Bentley this morning, who's now taken to his bed. So um, yeah, so I've pretty much got a free day. Um, so I'm gonna sit and watch these. So I've made myself a cup of coffee. I'm going to put my feet up, snuggle with Mr. Bentley on the settee, and I'm going to on the couch. Um, and I'm going to watch at least the first one today. So that's going to be my day. Um, I will probably catch up with you later because I also want to have a little play up in the craft room because it was the March mid-month mini mission yesterday. But because I didn't get back to late yesterday, I didn't actually upload it until late. So my apologies for that, for those people that were waiting for it. Um, so that's it. So I'm going to go play with that later. I've got this to watch. I've got some laundry to finish. And I've got some cooking to do as well for when Ian gets home. So that's going to be my Sunday. So I will catch up with you later on. What? What do you want? What? 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 No man nudging me. What? What do you want? It's now 2.25 on Sunday afternoon. Um, and I've just finished, well, I finished about 10 minutes ago doing my mid-month mini Mission Inspiration Art Journal page um, based on the song lyric prompts. So that was that one. Love those whimsical houses. Lots of fun always to do whimsical houses. Um, enjoyed doing that one. Um, I did watch um, my episode of the, the most recent episode of the Orville that I'd saved since Thursday. Um, I watched that over lunchtime. Uh, and then I thought I would watch the Kate Crane DVD. So I put disc one into the machine, sat down, settled down with a cup of coffee, only to discover that the disc is faulty, it won't play. Um, looking at it, I don't even think it's been burnt. So when you compare disc one to disc two, you can see that disc two has been burnt and disc one is completely blank. So I don't know what happened there. So I put disc two in and sure enough, that works fine. So I sat and watched that, but it is kind of linked. So you should really have watched disc one before watching disc two. I can't say that I learnt anything new, um, mainly because, you know, I've been doing this for a few years now. Looking at the date, it's 2011 when the DVDs were created. So they are like eight years old. Um, so a lot of the techniques that Kate uses are kind of old hat to us now, if you like. Um, but it is interesting to watch somebody else um, creating and explaining their thought process and how they do it and what they do. So, yeah, it probably was, I won't say it was worth the money, you know, but I'm not upset with the money that I paid for those discs. OK, um, that's all I can say for that. But if you've never seen anybody else producing an art journal video or how they put an art journal together then it would be very very interesting for somebody um but you know i think i'm beyond that point now but hey -ho. you don't know until you buy do you right so for the next hour or so because my video for the art journal page for that is rendering now ready to be uploaded to youtube for tonight that gives me about an hour or so um to kill so i'm going to go put the kettle on it myself a nice cup of coffee and then after i've got this uploading then Monsieur Le Four Legs will start nattering me to go out for a WALK. Yes, he's already giving me those kind of looks so I will catch you all later. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible. Thank you.